Hi guys. Today <coughs> I'm going to be cleaning this uh, front door area of our home. Feels like it's been neglected for so long. So today I just want to clean it, uh, sweep. Uh, mop and uh, we'll see how it goes we've even turned it into a, a storage area like a, a drop off area those are things that need to go to the backyard it's like a it's like a sort of gate but we are yet to work on it so it's been resting there for I don't know how long so now I've decided enough is enough. Honestly, we rarely use this door. I can count like in a whole year, I can count the number of times anyone has gone through that door. Because I mean, here in the US, you even rarely have guests. So we usually just get use the garage to go out and in. So because of that, it's easy to find yourself neglecting this front door here like don't be like me so that is the the small carag there it has the name home sweet home you can see guys that's like a shame hmm? it's really a shame to have the front door <laughs> looking like that so I was uh, in my mind I'm thinking I was thinking I really didn't like that uh, welcome rug it's good it has good writings on it but it has uh, a lot of deep fibers I don't know like dust gets ingrained like really really deep inside it's hard to clean it's kind of like needs to be washed but then it's hard to wash so I was thinking maybe I'll change that. We had cobwebs up there. So I started by, you know, getting rid of those cobwebs. Our house is here. By the way, for those who do not know me, my name is Jane. I live in Ohio. Here, the houses have uh, that area that I'm cleaning there. It feels like plastic to me. It feels like plastic material because the houses here are built very different, wrapped, wrapped with layers of wrappings around them. And then that's the, they call it siding here. I think it feels like just plastic. So I am just getting that area. There are cobwebs. Some cobwebs have decided to build there. And by the way, guys, this video was done during springtime. Like you can hear the birds, birds cheeping. You can hear the birds cheeping. Spring is a really good time. That's why you see me. In, it's still, it's still like it's cold, but it's not very cold. It's not very hot. It's a really good. Uh, though it's the kind of weather that i love that's why you see me in that big uh, sweater there so i had to sweep all of that out of the way i had to sweep that so i swept that and then i had uh I had some water with a little bit of soap in that bucket that I was going to use. So I have that spin mop. I really like that spin mop because it's not only for the floors, you can use it on the on the walls. And that's what I was I was going to use that mop on the walls. It does a pretty good job. And one other thing that I love about that spin mop is that after you're done, you can just throw, you can disconnect that head and throw it in the washer. And you can even disinfect it and it turns out really good, like new and very clean. 
so that way you can use it on your walls without having any streaks of that showing yeah so at this point i did not even know what plants i had for this area uh for me i was just there like i will one day i was like i will one day go to the stores and whatever pleases my eyes i grab it I've always told you guys i try when it comes to like decorating i'm not bad with cleaning but i try to learn how to decorate so you can see how that uh, area was really like with a lot of dust you can see how the mop is turning out really dirty yeah. that's what i had to do also guys when you have to sweep when you're sweeping make sure you have two brooms one for indoors and then one the other one for outdoors and for rough surfaces because the verandas are usually rough they don't make them smooth so that you you don't end up buying uh grooms every now and then because because once you use the uh indoors one outside it's gonna it, it becomes rough and it's not gonna sweep again well on smooth surfaces that's just how i feel that's just how i feel guys our door is actually uh green that's a color that's the color that i chose for our door but after looking at uh, around at the neighbors and all that people really have colorful and popping doors like yellow doors red i personally love i personally saw one around in the neighborhood that's uh it's red but not really red it's like da a little dark dark red it's a little dark red and i thought that's the best color that's the best door the best color for the door but i don't think red would really or maroon do you think maroon could really go with these colors here sometimes i think uh, maroon would work and sometimes I'm, i think it won't I'm really thinking this color is too dark for a front door. I like 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 green, but now I'm starting to feel like because I'm seeing around the doors are just popping, you know, with color. This uh green, it's not showing really. It's too dark. Maybe it would if it would have been like a light green. I don't know, but maybe one of these days i will i will paint this door some other color which i don't know for now maybe orange guys can you give me suggestions on the best color here to match uh this area this front door i don't know i don't know honestly but i feel like this green is just too dark for a front door I personally personally used to like uh dark doors but now my perspective has changed after seeing around after seeing how you know red doors look yellow doors look they really do look good actually they do look good yeah so this is uh i'm just uh, by then but the, that time i was just biased i loved green 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 so much but now i think i would maybe if i were to choose colors right now maybe i would choose something else i don't know i still do like this color though but i feel like it's too dark for the front door yep too dark for the front door and by the way i said maybe i might paint we are actually in the process of painting we are in the process of painting our indoors 
and we are doing it ourselves guys we are doing it ourselves right now i feel like i have so much confidence with painting honestly i feel like i i don't fear painting like i've never done painting before but after living here in the u.s i have learned i have learned to do some things that i would never think of doing back home like painting you know because it's very expensive it's very expensive to just hire someone to do anything here for you so like uh for example when we started painting our indoors when we we had that idea of painting of course this house this house is the builder here just does the a very basic paint inside and it's just very flat that you cannot even wipe if something if it gets dirty you cannot even wipe because it will come off with the wall you cannot even do anything so it was really uh, it's uh, everybody moving here into these houses if it's your first time you know very well you must paint but as we delayed and then uh, of course we have kids they touch here and there and you cannot wipe they have drawn even with a washable uh, crayon but we, you cannot wipe that uh, paint you cannot uh, touch it with anything it shows that really bad so we we had to paint no matter what like we could not assume for so long so last year, the end of last year, we had people come in, uh, look and give us quotes. So, so two people came. They told us for the whole house, it was going to be around $6,000. We are like, eh, $6,000 <laughs> just to paint, you know. Anyways, that's why we decided to do it ourselves. So guys, you can see there, it's really dirty, cobwebs, a lot of cobwebs. So I ended up cleaning up there, ended up cleaning up there, dusting, and uh, getting rid of all those cobwebs. Um, so you don't always have to do this work. So you can always hire someone to do the cleaning for you but i usually do my own cleaning because it's very expensive but after you've been in a house for like maybe a couple years or maybe three four years once in a while you can call someone to do uh, what they call uh, pressure washing pressure washing like they they clean the whole house from from the top to the bottom with just water and it becomes new again because you know this plastic you see that that plastic the one i told you it's called siding after a while it's gonna cling on to dust sometimes it even clings on to grass as you know so it's gonna change become discolored after a few years so you call someone and they do the pressure washing for you and then they do the same thing if they can do the same thing here where i am cleaning right now or even you can do it yourself if you if you trust yourself but it's not very expensive to be done once in a while but on a daily basis it's just an expensive thing for me to call someone to be cleaning here for me it's it's quite expensive so yeah, so uh, for me, I, for me right here, I just uh, poured soapy water on the veranda, scrubbed a little with a rough broom, and then rinsed the soapy water off. Uh, for I was using the bucket actually to rinse off, uh, even though we have a pump pipe. And we have water connected from outside that could have made my work so easy but i just didn't want to go and look for the pipe and i don't know where even my husband kept it i know it's somewhere in the garage but i just didn't want to do that i felt like this was just just worked as fine but a little 
I would I have saved a little time using the pipe. The pipe is usually for irrigating grass, but I would have used it here. It would have made my work easier, but I don't know. I didn't feel like doing that. I didn't feel like doing that, guys. Hey guys, so this is our little door <laughs> entryway <clears throat> and for a while we have really, I have really neglected <laughs> Those are Christmas lights, my husband decided not to pu pull them up Yeah, so this is what we are going to do here I took out everything that was here, swept the other day I had washed, but I don't know why it keeps staining. The veranda keeps staining. And then I have a broom here. I will just get a few cobwebs off. Oop. A few cobwebs. Still here cobwebs now. Next time, I touch to pressure also. So this is what I got, guys. Got this uh, plastic rag. This one you, you just wash. Mm -hmm. From Rose. I don't think we need anything big there because we rarely use this space. So I think that's appropriate. And then I got this beautiful tree here dish this from rose was how much 8.99 dollars only only guys and i thought this color color goes with our door then i got this lovely tree that i intend to keep there you <laughs> come tree Intend to keep that there. It's a, it's a fake tree, obviously. Eh? Me, I don't have time to to layer meaty, even though I love plants so much. And then I got these chairs. One will be there, the other one there, and then next time I'll look for a small table to go in between them. <laughs> yep, I need to meet after my cousin, Katekatezo labels, Kilam Trasioni. So the chairs were going for $59, two of them, oops, 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 oops. and then. Uh, much just so guys this is how everything looks so far work in progress right there takwana kameza we'll put a small table on there hey, at least it looks like somebody's door so next i'll put some flowers on here like flower pots <laughs> 